Well, here we are, the giggle review already. Now, when I saw the stuff for it and I heard about it, I knew it was going to be crazy, but I wasn't expecting it to be that crazy. If I'm being honest, it was everything I love about Doctor Who, but let me get talking about it. How long is Geronimo? Well, the last special review already. I'm trying to think. Um, it was just so fast paced and so good and so fun. I'm struggling to remember how I felt about it. Obviously, I. it was brilliant, but it's a review, so I'll try and review it and not just ramble as I usually have done. But yeah, turns out my theories were pretty wrong, but oh well. Um, yeah, so mad episode. I just, I absolutely loved it. Um, all of it. It was just, it was, in, it was more insane than I was expected it to be. That's for sure. Um, I was not expecting that plot twist with the regeneration um, I was very surprised by that but also very pleased by it um, let me see probably if I'm being honest my favorite thing about the episode was the toy maker because he was just great I think Neil Patrick Harris was sort of want to say made for that role because he was just absolutely perfect as him and it was just really fun to see see him back and um there were so many little things that I liked um like how they um the toy shop turned up turned out to be the celestial toy room and that little nod back to the first doctor and um the 14th Doctor talking about him with Donna and what one scene I really liked was um, how he did puppets of the companions that the Doctor's had since he's been, since he re-met Donna, that, never mind, but you get what I'm saying, since he, he whatever. <laughs> um, I really wish it was like a two-parter or a three-parter because I really wanted to see more of the toy maker because it was just so fun to see him like all the little stuff he did and I the one thing I did get right though granted I did hear it from somebody else um was the musical scene was um with him in that old outfit -y thing and the spice spice girls spice up your life playing that was that was the funniest part of the episode but it was just it went so fast paced like first day first people go mad then he went to unit and then he went back in time saw the toy maker then he's back at unit again and then he regenerated and then it was more or less done <laughs> it's just um it was so good, like with the others. Luckily, I managed to finish my squishies this time now. But like with all of the others, it was just it was so fun that, and I had such a good time watching it that it just went so fast. It felt more like twenty minutes. I wish like that final one would have been a two parter or three parter. I was I was thinking that. Um, the toy maker was going to be like playing all these different characters and he'd like have to do different games for these different characters but no I guess it sort of makes sense that he just wants to have fun doing different costumes instead and one thing for some reason I did think that guy who did the tv I thought he was another I thought he was the toy maker dressed up but he wasn't he just looked similar 
and I thought it was him, so that's embarrassing, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, the the way also the way they did um the thing with the giggle that was very good, like how the toy makers been secretly influencing humanity um since the start of television. Um, one thing I did notice when the 14th Doctor was playing card with him, he was going on a monologue um, and one of the things he said, how he's made a jigsaw out of his life. Um, and he also did the puppets with the companions, so does that mean he's been influenced the doctor influencing the doctor a bit more than it seems? I did sort of while watching it think of a theory which I might make a video on. You'll see that the toy maker was the reason for all the companions' deaths, which I don't know, just a thought. But yeah. Um I wouldn't I really wonder who the one who waits is. That'll probably be something for Juti's series, which I'm really looking forward to, but that was interesting as well. And I I wasn't one thing I do find <laughs> it's it, it is funny if I'm being honest. How the whole reason the toy maker managed to get into the universe is because of the doctor putting salt on the floor, invoking a superstition at the edge of the universe, then letting him in. So the toy makers come back because of salt, basically. But that's a fair enough excuse. He is probably, I mean, I don't know all of the villains. Too well, obviously, I love the classics, the Daleks and the Cyberman, but um, the Toy Baker is definitely one of my favourite villains. He's like um, a mix of the Q of Star Trek and um, the Collector from the Owl House, which are characters I really like as well. Just a shame about him being evil as usual <laughs> um, but yeah definitely the coolest part was just seeing the toy maker with all his powers in the like in the toy room how he did that creepy puppet of um the doctor and his little musical and unit i, I knew he was gonna do something like uh, like another thing i said in his my fairy video and he ended up turning people into balloons which okay <laughs> um i was kind of expecting to see more of like the people going mad we did see like um we did see kate go mad for a second which was um interesting to say the least <laughs> and then what else well, I guess now I can talk about the regeneration. I, if I'm being honest, I completely thought I was not expecting that at all. But I am. I can understand why it might be a controversial plot twist, but I am very happy with it. I was fully expecting to, you know, I had a feeling how the doctor was going to regenerate he'd be shot by the galvalic beam or whatever it was by the toy maker and that turned out to be right as well but i thought you know obviously i wasn't expecting that i thought it'd be a usual regeneration he says i was hoping he'd say i'm ready to go this time and then he regenerates into duty but turns out not only does he not regenerate properly? Not only do we get to keep David as the 14th Doctor, we also got Judy as well. So now we have two Doctors and two Tardises. I guess we always have multiple Doctors like running around the universe at the same time, even future Doctors. 
how many other doctors there are. Now there are technically three David Tennant running around in the Hooniverse, which is a, a nice thought. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was not expecting that by regeneration. That does add a very interesting new piece of law. I really wonder, I might make a further video on this as well, what what happens to the 14th Doctor after that, like, say he lives his, I'll, I'll speak about, about that first, I'm very, very happy how they closed off the 14th Doctor, you know, how he just settled down and just, he can still travel in the TARDIS, but he has a proper life now, settled down with Donna and their family and just living a more or less chill, nice, happy life, which he very much needed. I like the idea that that doctor like gets to relax now and then, um, you know, he's been through enough. He gets to think he's saved enough people to deserve it. Um, uh, just a nice little life at least um, so he gets to settle down sorry Bog. so yeah he gets to settle down while the other doctor he's you know he's new he's ready to go he wants to go off and save the universe you know someone has to still go and be the doctor and I'm very glad it's shooty that scene where he goes off and the music was playing that was just epic that made me so excited very was not expecting two tardises as well but glad i'm um, the original sorry right where was i yes glad um you know the original doctor um gets to keep the tardis and 15 can go away and still be the doctor um well they're both the doctor but yeah i'm just i i know it <laughs> i i know it's, it's a fictional but i'm genuinely so glad like i'm genuinely happy for him um but yeah i'm i'm quite happy just to like i don't don't say don't want to say like leave leave him behind but but I'm pleased we can sort of like the this this is gonna sound funny. I don't mean it in a um don't know how else to explain it. Sort of leave David's doctor behind now because he has been a doctor a lot and he'll I know I hope and I he'll definitely come back in future specials and now they have a way to do it. Oops. But um yeah, I'm glad we sort of get to move on, leave not the but you move on from David's doctor and he's you know he's happy now and we sort of get to we really are starting again with um the fifteenth how he's like saw a video how you know um he's like sort of free from all the what the doctor's been through like the fourteenth doctor gets to settle down and heal from it but shoot he's like he's like the he's like the doc like he said they the time lord so they do therapy in the long wrong order but he's like the therapized it's not a real word is it but you know he's like the healed doctor and he gets to go off and start again um which he sort of is like another first doctor because completely new era now completely new series and i really look forward to it but yeah i just love that episode it's everything i love about doctor who like the the craziness the nice stuff um the stuff you wasn't expecting um yeah i just loved it all um do have some questions after that though which can't wait to be answered even though it might be years till I get answered but I might make fairy videos about them but yeah love that episode definitely my favorite one so far um 
out of the whole three, by far my favourite one. Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't have anything bad or negative to say about it. All absolutely fantastic. Um, love the toy maker. Um, love the twist. Um, they were my two favourite things, the, the toy maker and the twist. Getting to see duty, of course, David was great as always. It was just all great. Let me think, is there anything I'm missing? Anything else I wanted to say? Mm, don't think so. That's it. I would rate that as, how would I rate that? I would rate that as an absolutely wonderful, that's what I'm going with. And a very exciting close off for number 15, which we get to see on Christmas already. So that's great. Um, so yeah, nice little close off episode. It was cool to see the toy maker, but I'm glad he's defeated finally. I'm glad the original doctor, he's gets to settle down and be happy now. And he has Donna back and Donna has everything back and has a nice family now in it. All good, all good for him, all good for the new doctor who gets to go off and explore the universe and just a nice little conclusion to the era. All ended up good in the end. Could have tried to rhyme that better, but oh well. Um, just all ended good and I'm very pleased about that. But crazy, crazy, very nice and wonderful episode. Um, See you next time with whatever I decide to make. But have a wonderful day. Alonzi, Geronimo.